really quick before this video starts make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos is he dabbing i feel like he's dabbing for like one frame what's going on my fellow knights my name is gallup gaming welcome back to my channel today we are back in fred bear's mega roleplay in roblox because two brand new secret characters have been released they are secret character five and secret character six uh they both have insanely low rarities at the time of recording this with five having a 1.4 percent rarity and six having a 3.3 percent rarity so they are very very hard to get five is way harder to get than six but hopefully in this video i'm gonna help you guys out uh so what you want to do is go into the pizzeria i picked the toddler uh, I don't really know why. There's no real reason. Uh, so we're going to go all the way into the office room or the parts and service room, I mean. So we're going to go down the hallway. We're going to make a left and we're going to make a right into parts and services. And you'll notice there's a brand new door with a keypad right here. All you got to do is click it all over the place. Spam it. Click it all you want. And then eventually, after enough clicking... The door will magically open. It's crazy. Hold on, we just gotta just gotta keep clicking it. Just gotta Is it one button? I don't know if it's one button or not. But either way, you just gotta keep clicking it all over, then eventually the door will open. Uh, I've had it open after like three clicks, and I've had it open after like twenty. Oh, oh, that was really loud. And there we go. Eventually the door will open. Uh, then you're going to get led into this big basement area. Don't worry, it's still the same badge. Uh, so, oh, I, it's kind of like a maze to get through these shelves. So you'll see that there's a big elevator door, three big red lights on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the three buttons that correspond with those lights. And you do have to press them in a specific order. And unfortunately, I think it's randomized. But we can go ahead and show you where the buttons are. Here is button number one. We're going to click it. And you can see if you press the button in the right order, because one of the lights on that elevator will turn off. Uh, we can see none of them turned off, so I did not press the right button. So let's go over to this wall, and there's another button right here. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now we're going to go back to the door and check it. And none of the lights turned off, so that means that the button, the first one we have to hit, is all the way in the back corner on top or under this shelf. Uh, let me make sure I'm actually clicking it. We're going to click that button, and then hopefully it works. Uh, wait, did a button turn off? Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. A button did turn off. Uh, so now we have two buttons left. So let's go try the first one that we pressed again all the way over here. And all you gotta do is keep trying the buttons. Uh, I have had it where it won't, the light on the elevator won't turn off. So you do have to reset your server uh, if you're on a VIP. And there we go, there's only one light left. And there's only one button left. So I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go, we're gonna press this button. And all the lights on the elevator should be off. And they are. So now that all of them are off, we're gonna press the elevator button which opens the elevator doors, leading us into this room with a Shadow Bonnie. But you're not done quite yet. All you gotta do is run up to it and click it, and the badge should be yours. I already have it, which is why it's not popping up. But there you go. That is secret character number five. Whew, that was a hard one. Luckily, secret character six is not that hard to get. Uh, it is, you do have to know where to look for it. Uh, so, we're going to just hop in as a human. Doesn't matter. We're going to hop in as a human, and we're going to go in the pizzeria again. This one is very easy to get compared to that. Uh, the only problem is I don't know where the kitchen is. So, all you got to do is find the kitchen, which is honestly half the, half the trouble. Oh, here we go. We found it. All right. So, it's in this big room. Go across from the stage. There's the kitchen. And all we're going to do is we're going to hop on the counter and look into the oven and we'll see a big loaf of bread. All you got to do is touch it. 
I don't think this one is randomized. It's just on or in this oven. Hop on and click the bread. And secret character six is yours. And there we go. We got the two brand new secret characters. Very, very nice. Now let's go ahead and become them and see what we got. I'm pretty sure the first one is going to be the Shadow Bonnie. Oh boy. There's a, there's a teaser for the other one. So let's go ahead and just become Shadow Bonnie. And there we go. I don't like those pupils. Those pupils are very off-putting and very creepy. Oh, it's Shadow Spring Bonnie. Oh, look at that. That is really creepy. Uh, but here we go. Here's Shadow Spring Bonnie. He has a jump scare. I want to turn my headphones down first. He has a jump scare. Uh, then we have music. Ooh, creepy. Uh, but then there's a deactivate. The eyes turn off, so it's just the mouth. That's all you can see. And then we have a deactivate too. Just sitting down. Then a perform. Oh, look at that. He's like, hey guys, come on in. No way, not a chance. If this thing was out front waving in front of a pizzeria, even if there's pizza inside, there's no way you can get me in there. Not with this thing out front. Not a chance. Also, I can reach the doors from over here. It's like a ghost. Ooh, spooky. All right. Uh, then that is actually it. Let's play the jump scare one more time because I accidentally zoomed in. And there we go. There is Shadow Spring Bonnie or secret character number five. So let's go ahead and reset. Oh, it started raining. Let's go ahead and reset. And now we're going to go ahead and become secret character six or the weird abomination. Uh, oh, it's Bread Bear. I remember him. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense since we clicked the loaf of bread. Uh, but there you go. There is Bread Bear for you. He's a, uh, oh, what in the world? Is he dabbing? I feel like he's dabbing for like one frame. Uh, editor, if you want to uh, pause it on the dab, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, look at that. He's dapping for a single frame. That is bizarre, but that is very nice. Also, just, just everything about this. Look how big his feet are. Why does he have no neck? Why is he, what, why is everything? Why is everything with this animatronic? I love the way he walks though. He walks like he's, you know, having a good time. Look at him. He's bobbing up and down. He's having a good time. All right. But anyway, for Bread Bear, we have a jump scare. That's not real. There's no way. He just claps his hands. That's the jump scare? Uh, but then we have a deactivate. Oh, boy. He just T-poses in the dark. Very nice. I didn't expect anything different from Bread Bear. Then we have a deactivate, too. Uh, he just sinks down into his legs. Oh, yeah. His body just sinks down into his legs. All right. Oh, uh, well, there's Deactivate 2, and then we have a Perform. Oh, look at this! Oh, I don't know what that was, Bread Bear. I don't know what's happening with this Perform animation, and I don't know if I like it. Uh, okay. Well, there we go. There's Bread Bear's Perform, and he has music. Oh, it's the same music as a lot of the other ones have as well. But there you go, everybody. That is... Or those are the two animatronics you get for these two brand new secret character badges. Uh, secret character five was uh, Shadow Spring Bonnie. Then secret character six is Bread Bear. And of course, if you want to get any of the other secret characters one through four, make sure you check out my previous videos that I've done on them. Plus, I've done a video on all of the new game passes in this as well. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a video on the new Game Passes that just came out as well. Uh, so make sure you check all of those out. Uh, and that's about it. We're going to end this video here. Before we do, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily FNAF videos. And make sure you use star code GALLANT whenever you're buying Robux. You can use star codes on mobile and desktop, so it's, you know, no harm, no foul. Uh, you don't have to pay anything extra. All you do is type in my code when you're buying Robux anyway. So you got nothing to lose. Look at Breadbear. I bet he'd use star code Gallant if he could. Ugh. 
He's weird. I don't want to look at him anymore. There we go. All right, we're going to end this video here. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. It's weird. I don't want to look at him anymore, but I just, I can't stop. I can't stop myself.